my name's Kyle Ray. Um, I'm the curator of East Africa Venom Supplies. Um, we're a research-based center. Um, so doing a lot of research on snakes, um, reptiles which are found in the area, um, and also the front are trying to help out um, in looking to create a new anti-venom. Snake bite is a huge problem. Um, in Kenya, we lose about a thousand people um, a year to snake bite. Um, probably about 400,000 people um, are disabled. Um, it's one of the biggest, I think, on their um, animal human wildlife conflict. 48% um, of all cases are snake related cases. So it's a massive, massive problem. Yeah. In the past, what um, James Ash and the founders of the farm used to do, um, they used to get anti venom in from South Africa. And through that, they, would be a, they were able to distribute it to people who couldn't, um, couldn't have access to anti venom or couldn't afford it. So through a trust, um, that's what we used to do. Um, at the moment, we're still in the first sort of stages of it. Um, so we're working very closely with a few other partners. Um, and the hopes is to have, in a couple of years, a good effect of antivenom which can be used um, and can be readily available to be able to be distributed um, amongst everyone. So um, we're not the front line of making an antivenom, um, but we're helping out um, others who are trying to do this. The main um, species that cause a lot of problems in Kenya um, puff adders, of course, is a really high one, um, and then followed on by most of your cobras. Your red spinning cobras up in the northern areas, down in Savo. Again, up you go up further north into Takana, Baringo, um, your little carpet vipers, all the little echis. Um, they're a big, big problem. So I'd say mainly your puff adders, majority of your cobras, and then the little carpet vipers. Um, within Africa, sort of your most deaths from the records which I've seen are your carpet vipers. Um, Sub-Saharan Africa, all going up there, they, they're wreaking havoc. Um, and then followed closely, not as many deaths, but your, your puff adder counts for the most bites. Mambas, they, they got this bad reputation of being this highly toxic snake, I'm um, going to kill you right on the spot. But we actually don't get as many bite cases from them. Um, I think they're an easier snake to move off, they're higher up in the trees. So we don't get as many cases of our of mambas as, as one would sort of expect. Um, so keeping a, a farm like this, we house probably about um, anywhere between 500 to about 600 snakes at the moment. Um, with the new venom um, facilities which we're building, um, the snake house will house about 800 snakes. So trying to keep these snakes alive with food and stuff is, is a massive um, cost burden. Um, we're very lucky in that we're supported by a big um, chicken manufacturer company in Kenya called Kenchik. Um, and they support us with day-old chicks on a weekly basis. So without that, that would be a big, big problem um, to us. Then um, for the trust um, to try and help out communities, um, we've got the Taylor Ash Anti-Venom Trust, which has taken over the James Ash Anti-Venom Trust. Um, so we rely on a lot of donations through that um, to try and get ourselves into the field, helping out communities, um, doing talks amongst communities out there. Um, and then people coming up uh, to see the farm, see our snakes, see our collections. We also do snake safaris. Um, so if people can come take those trips, um, come to the snake farm, that really helps us to be able to run, run the farm. So we're, we're doing our first sort of stage. Um, of, of the farm should be ready in about four months. Um, the first stage is our, our new lab, um, new milking area, venom production. Um, so our new venomous snake house. Um, all of these rooms will be climate controlled. Um, so it'll make it easier to, to keep snakes, which we find up in sort of Western Kenya. Um, at the moment, we've got a huge amount of snakes on display um, in sort of smaller little boxy cages. Um, but the idea is we're going to have a lot less on display, but in much bigger cages. Um, some of our big, big snakes will be in cages about three meters by two meters, um, and all of a natural feel. We want to be a place where it's sort of the standard of, of something you'll see in the States or the UK. Um, we want to be a, a marker where people all around Africa, all around the world can come and take what we're doing here and take that template and put it into use e everywhere else in the world. We got, especially along the coast, we're constantly getting called um, to help out with snakes that are in the area. So we offer a free service, we'll come in, we'll catch a snake, um, 
we'll relocate it. If it's something which is of value to us at the farm, then it will be brought in. Um, this is a free charge, but we like people to help us and give us a bit of money for, for transport to and from. Um, we've got a massive network. WhatsApp is a huge thing. Uh, my phone is constantly buzzing. Um, so loads of people on different WhatsApp groups helping us or asking for IDs of snakes. I think with the with social media and things like that, it's really helped. People are, are learning more and wanting to know a bit more about snakes. Easy for us to ID, um, send someone to go and catch the snake um, or persuade them that it's a harmless snake. Why don't you just keep it and let it be? We, there's a lot of confusion in Kenya. A lot of people are saying that um, we're making anti-venom. Um, and just to keep it clear, we're not actually looking at making anti-venom here yet. Um, this is a massive process to be able to do this and something which we would sort of look down further in the line. Um, what we're sort of helping out um, others now is to try and come up with a product which can be put into the market um, and help to use. So we're just looking at the first stages of milking snakes um, and getting a good quality anti-venom. Your, your anti-venom starts off with the best quality of, of venom, so something that's clean, it's not contaminated in any way. Um, so that's where we are. Um, we welcome anyone to come in, have a look at what we do. Um, we've got all sorts of snake safaris. Um, we can tailor make safaris to you to exactly what you want to do. So please get in touch with us. Um, and yeah, looking forward to seeing you all.